Hey everybody, John and get here. Hello and good afternoon. Greetings from Thoroughfare, New Jersey. We are picking up here uh, a load bound for... Picking up a load bound for Lancaster, Texas. Alright, today is... Uh, what's today? Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. We are down to 0.7 miles to the shipper. The local time here is 4.03 p.m. And the temperature is 45 degrees. By the way, our current odometer reading is 600,460 miles. Does anybody remember uh, what was our mile mileage, our odometer miles when I got faith? In 800 feet, I don't remember, on, but I'm sure one of you do. All right, we got to make a left on Crown Point Road. I don't know what kind of product this is, but it's calling for 33 degrees. Sintu, the name of the place is Sintu Fine Foods. Which begs a question, what does Texas need from New Jersey? that Texas doesn't have locally. Approaching destination on the right side in zero feet. In 1,000 feet, turn left on Santo Boulevard and then approaching destination on the right side in zero feet. I mean, Texas got everything, right? They, they got to have everything. I think, I think what it is is probably the imported stuff from foreign countries. That's probably what it is. You have arrived at your destination on the right side, 100 Sinto Boulevard. Yeah, this is definitely it. Sinto Fine Shipping, receiving, that way. And there's a security guard. How much you out of bed? Nobody's home. Yeah. They can't afford to pay people anymore, I suppose. Catch you later. Thank you. All right, everybody. We've been sending the door nine. Yeah, this, these products are probably imported from Italy.
Freeze? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, everybody. We are loaded and headed to the closest. Turn left on Santo Boulevard and then turn right in 450 feet. We're headed to the closest TA truck stop, 3.5 miles away. It should be a light load, but you know, never know. Okay, uh, the local time here is 4:38. It was quick. It was one of these places that. It's one of these places that they load you really fast and you don't mind coming back over and over and over. It's like the truck driver's uh, greatest uh, wish, dream. Anyway, 4.38 p.m. temperature is 44 degrees. It's like 400, no, 1,470 miles from here to Lancaster, uh, Texas, which is south of Dallas, right next to the uh, TA truck stop. In fact, I was just there in that neighborhood not too long ago. Remember that load that went up to uh, Aldi's in Denton, Texas? It see. I don't think I've been, been there before, but it's right next to that neighborhood. So we're just going to go to... stop to get a cat scale
is it that when the economy goes down the toilet, the prices goes up first, and then the last one to get a raise are the people, the working people. If even so. I wonder if people got paid based on the daily exchange rate of the economy. I think the politicians would be a little bit more careful. The problem with the current system is people don't realize the effect of it right away. Be right back. All right. 
right, everybody. I was very hungry. I hadn't had breakfast yet, so I went in and uh, got me two pork chops. The sign said $11 for two pork chops, right? I said, okay, two pork chops, please, $11. What are your sides? Mashed potato and mac and cheese. And I was still hungry, so I got me two sausages with it. It came out to $23 for two pork chop, two sausages. And I'm thinking, all right, so from $11 to two extra sausages, how did that come out to $23? I asked the young lady. And the young lady says, oh, it's... 16 or 17 dollars for two pork chop and two sides. I said, but the sign says 11 dollars. She said, oh no, that's just for the pork chop. So basically, a pork chop in New Jersey is five dollars and fifty cents a piece. In Wisconsin, For eleven dollar, for five dollars, you get like I don't know four or five pork chops. I told you something special about New Jersey. But when you're hungry, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> We should be alright. Grow 
grossing at 72,020 pounds. Anyway, I gotta make a phone call with Rich, and uh, so we'll see you later. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Delaware Memorial Bridge. The local time is 534. Temperature is 43 degrees. I have just enough hours to make it to Front Royal, Virginia. And then I have to do a 10 hour mandatory break. And do it all over again tomorrow.
thinking of uh, going to one of these service plazas in Maryland. And uh, stay in one of those. Because the local time here is 540. Chances are the traffic in Washington, D.C. area is probably still kind of messed up. So if I was to quit now, let's see, 5.40 p.m., 10 hours later, that's uh, 4.340. So if I quit now, then I can start driving at 3.40 a.m. tomorrow, and that should eliminate all the traffic rush hour, right? But my problem is if I quit now, I won't be able to go to sleep until midnight, and by the time, <laughs> by the time I need to drive I'm all dead tired so you gotta have to balance between your sleeping habit pattern ability and the traffic and all that stuff Catch you later.